All right, guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be playing Nuremberg, but before we get into that, we're going to make just one, just one attempt at signing, signing a new player today, guys. And I'm actually going to go back in for uh, Saviola, uh, negotiate contract. Um, let's have a look. We're going to take it to nine. We'll go for nine twenty-five. We'll s shall we go for nine twenty-five? No, in fact, you know what? We'll go for 900 and see what comes back. If not, in the next episode, we could take it to like 950 and next episode, 1000. So, yeah, and we'll just try and get them as cheaply as we possibly can. But that's going to be the only thing for today. All right, guys, so uh, all the new signings are going to get a chance today. Um, I've put Maxwell on, put Simic on, Kushank is in goal, Walcott is on the, I think, the left of midfield. So, uh, yeah, sticking with the f same formation in this uh, episode. Here's Walcott. Oh, fair shot with him. His man and uh, Zemeles. Ah, can't run past his man. Um, so, yeah, really, really good in the last episode. We really got some really good signings, so I'm really happy with that. And, uh, you know what I mean? I think we've signed four players. We've signed four players. And to be honest, guys, to be honest, right, that's probably about it. You know what I mean? The only way we're going to sign any more players is if... Um, Oh, here's Castolo. Oh, nice take by Castolo. Oh, good save. Um, the only way we're going to sign more players if, is if we win some matches and sell some extra players. So I think adding Saviola to the team would be very good. Oh, so we're going to try back in for him. Um, if we can't get him, like I say, we'll just keep trying. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. And like I keep saying... There is no point spending thousands of um, points on players that, to be honest, we can't afford when we can just go through the non-affiliated list. It's just the it's the smart thing to do, really. So, um, you know, I mean, we've picked up, picked up some really good players, and we should be ready for next season now um, already. But uh, you know, what I mean, we're going to try and pick up as many points as we can. Um, by trying to win some of these pre-season games, it might lead to maybe one or two extra players. Who knows? And um, yeah, it just it might be a good thing. But um, I guess what we'll do is that uh, once the winter window comes round again, uh, we'll have a look at who there is uh, available. If there's any players, you know, it might just be one player that we might try after. Um, but if not, it, it doesn't really matter because I think we've got a good enough team anyway now and we, we don't really have to worry. Um, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just maybe like try and save the money. Um, but it like I say, it all depends about who is there, you know, up for transfer and whatnot when that time comes round. So whatever happens, happens really. But um, to be honest, um, we, we should be. We should be next season. We should be all over everybody. I, f I reckon this is it. With no excuses next season. We need top spot. We or at least second at the very minimum. If, uh, I don't know. Well, I, I'm not, I don't want to jinx anything. But, um, you know, we should be aiming for it. We should be absolutely thrashing everyone and just going for it, really. So uh, no excuses next season, if you ask me. We can't win the ball back. Oh, this is going to be bad, is it? Oh, Kushak, which I think he was fair, his fair save, I think. Um, so I'm really happy that we got a good goalkeeper in. To be honest, Ivor was actually pretty good last season. You know what I mean? Um, we had Zamenhof in, didn't we? And then I think Ivor pretty much took every game after the um, the first half of the season was over with. Um, so yeah. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Oh, Ordaz. Ordaz a shot! Oh, what a goal by Ordaz! Fantastic shot by him. That just came out of nowhere, really. Uh, he is up front uh, today with uh, Castolo because they were both on red form. I forgot to mention this. Um, Yulu, I think. I think he was on green form. Um, and then... 
Um, like Obina needed a rest, but I think Obina was on red form, but he did definitely he had some fatigue and he needed a rest. This is a fantastic drive. Love that one. Um, like I say, you know, a lot of our players are kind of greyed out at the moment because of contracts and, and whatnot, but we're going to try and uh, sell quite a few of them. I reckon we'd probably get some offers in anyway, so we're probably able to maybe sign one or two more players. But uh, like I keep having to say, we're not trying to... Uh, there's no point of trying to sign players that are worth thousands because there's just no point when the, we've... Got, there's a lot of good players on that... Um, on that um, non-affiliated list and you might as well just pick from that to save money there's a lot of good players on there um, you know what I mean we've already picked up Walcott which is fantastic signing um, Simic who's a good defender as well Maxwell who's got really good stats um, Kushak's a good goalkeeper you know what I mean there's, there's no point of doing anything else But I think it's just the summer window where all the non-affiliated players come up, to be honest. Um, I don't I don't believe there are any in the winter one. If I'm, I might, I think I'm correct in saying that. I might not be, but... Um, oh, that's a good save. Just get it out. So I've actually changed the uh, the rules. I've actually switched because I knew I wanted to play Walcott on the wing, um, but we we have like a a system set up where we have uh, wing backs on the left and the right. So I didn't. He's obviously not a wing back, Walcott. So I wanted to play him uh, as a left or right midfielder. So I've actually changed the the wing back rules into uh, left and right midfield rules. But uh, things seem to be going right up so far. Let's keep that up in the second half. So they finish the half in front of the game. Still wide open. So second half kicks off. Let's uh, see if we can uh, add any more goals to this. We're doing really good in pre-season. I'm enjoying this pre-season so far. This is kind of what we... I think one of our problems is, though, that because we've still got players from the original, you know, start-up... Um, I think that's kind of like sometimes it's a bit annoying because it's um, we're winning games but we're only winning by like 1-0 you know what I mean we, we want to see more games like like the Rangers game where we won 4-1 you know what I mean we want to see more like that um, and I think I think it's because we need to just kind of get the team going a bit more uh, which might be our problem here's Castolo well done Castolo that was a fantastic shot Shame nothing came of it. Oh, no, 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 this is bad. Oh, good defending by Valeni there. Well done. Oh, it's wide. We've got the two new defenders and the goalkeeper in, and it's Valeni, the man who's been there from the start. That's uh, playing well, showing them all up, showing, showing, showing them how it's done in this team. Well done by Maxwell. Oh, that's a terrible ball. I'm excited about the um, the Walcott signing though. I think that's going to be really good. I'm never going to get rid of him, I don't think, because I think he develops really well in this game. Here's Casti. Oh, he's going to be taken off him. Oh, that's good. Here's Ordaz. Can he finish it? Yes, he will. Ordaz has been fantastic today. Absolutely lovely. Good finishing by him. Just calm. And just slotted it away. No, uh, no Ruskin today. I can't even remember what kind of form he's on. I don't even remember seeing him, but uh, yeah, look at this. Very nicely done. He dived to the wrong side. I mean, why would you dive to your near post? You know what I mean? The rule. I think the rule is you should always go across the keeper. Looking for support now. 
Oh, that's good. Here's Castolo. Oh, taken away from him. Can we get a third here, I wonder? That's nice. Oh, Maxwell's not going to get to it first, though. And Stein, Stein will, Steen Stein. <laughs> Steen Stein, I guess that'll be his new name. Oh, that's out. Uh, made a few changes. Wal Walcott's stamina is depleted completely already. And what are we? But just about 70 minutes in. So, uh, yeah, that is going to be a problem. Um, hopefully his stamina will improve over time. He's got great stats, but like I say, his stamina does, is a problem. A stamina is kind of a problem with a lot of young players, though, I find, in Pez. So. Well, probably not just in Pez. Probably the same in FIFA, I think, as well, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's kind of, I don't know, it's, it feels like it's kind of almost rare to find a, a good player who's um, who's young enough to have good stamina. Here's Ordaz. You lose, come on. Oh, here he is as well. Well done. You Lou! Oh, I thought it was in for one split second there. And I think it just kind of... Oh, it just bent away. Well, Ordaz is up for a hat-trick. I wonder if he could get it. Still quite a bit of time left to maybe get it. Oh, this is probably a goal. Oh, unbelievable. Never mind, never mind about that. I think Kushat sh should have saved that, though, in my opinion. If we have a look at the replay of this. Yeah, it was so close to him. He really should be saving that, in my opinion. Definitely should be saving that. Quite a bit of an error. Got past Fellaini there. Never mind. Still winning. That's the main point. Come on, let's try and get another goal. Sort of feeling it. No, oh, that's not a good pass. Jarric! Oh, Jarric! And he's, well, he's meant to be a defender, but I think he can play at uh, defensive midfield. I think, anyway. <laughs> I've got him in that role today. Um, oh, that would have been amazing had he scored. Come on, let's not let them have this here. And that's going to go wide. Zordaz. Taking away Zemeles. Oh, Yulu had a bit of space to work with, but couldn't get, a, get anything out of that. Just pushing, the pushing, the pushing. Well done by Jarich again. That'll be a full-time whistle. Good match. You know what I mean? We we uh, we showed quite a lot of um, what's the word? A lot of promise, I guess, in this one.
Um, two nil. Ordaz was fantastic. Three out of three, guys. Three out of three. Ordaz was the man of the match. Who else could it have been, really? And anything said about anybody else? I think Valeni played well. Did did let in a bit of a mistake though at the back, which allowed them to score. And I think Kushak maybe could have done a bit better with that. But you know, I'm gonna let that go. Um, it was great today. And Jarich, man, he could have. He could have. You know, he could have. He could have. Ah, oh, breakdown with Saviola yet again. Um, well, that's not a problem, guys. We can up that. I might even up it to a thousand, possibly, uh, next time round. But uh, we've got <laughs> Bayern Munich want Ruskin. Wow. I don't think I'm going to be selling him unless it's some big crazy offer, which I don't think it will be. But um, yeah, we'll go for Saviola again for definite. Let's uh, let's have a look at these um, offers then. Let's have a look. So, ooh, 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 these are quite interesting offers because they've offered. Uh, 6,041 for him of Bolton. Um, Bayern Munich have offered, only offered 5,000. Zaragoza have offered 5.5. Ooh. It's kind of a tempting offer, but I feel like Ruskin's a good player and we should hold on to him, guys. I'm not sh so sure what to do, really. Um... I mean, he, he's a good player, and I've, I've, I've kind of got high hopes for him a bit. How old is he? He's only 20, and I think he might develop quite well. I'm not sure how he develops. Um, I'll have to give that some thought. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for this episode, though. And, um, yeah, three out of three. It's going well. This will be, I think this will be our biggest test yet, though. We're playing Middlesbrough next, so we got some Premier League opposition um, coming up. So it uh, might be a tough one, but I guess we'll see. Thanks for watching this episode, though, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe, and share, as always. We'll see you in the next one, and uh, see if we can uh, maybe do some buying and selling. See you then.